Fortnite. Today we're gonna be making Fortnite cakes because you guys have requested this so many times. So many of you guys have asked me to make this and I'm finally making it after like four or five months of asking. You're finally getting your wish. Now we're making two of my friend's favorite skins. We're making the Raven as well as the Cuddle Team Leader. They look pretty cool. What do they do in the game exactly? I don't know. I feel like I'm disappointing you because I don't know anything about Fortnite. These cakes do look good, however, so let's get started. Let's create the raven. I'm using a chocolate cake that I dyed black to match the raven's face. I just placed my basic bake cake template on top and then cut it out using a paring knife. Pulled away the excess, and then I added some buttercream into the middle of my cake, as well as the second layer. And I'm curious, how many of you guys play Fortnite? I watched a lot of videos on YouTube to try to prepare for this video, and I think it's a, it's a RPG playing, uh, God, I'm using a whole bunch of words I don't know. <laughs> it's a role-playing game, yas, okay, and you get to pick one of these characters, and then you fight, and you shoot people with it, right? And it's called Fortnite because it takes two weeks or and this I don't know you create forts but none of the stuff is at night or is it at night probably I should learn to relax and play video games now using a paring knife I just rounded out the head and separated the Raven's arms from his body then I gave him a crumb coat and placed him into the fridge now after I finished working on my Raven cake I started to work on the cuddle leader of the team team leader that cuddles cuddle team leader there we go now, i wanted the cuddle team leader's cake to match the costume so i decided to make my cake a very vibrant pink i just took my paring knife and just repeated the process i did with the raven cake pulled away the excess fondant added some buttercream onto my cake, and then added the second layer. Now I'm using a strawberry box cake, and I'm very sorry to say that the strawberry flavor isn't as vibrant as the pink on this cake. But it wasn't bad, especially with cream cheese frosting. I rounded out the head with a paring knife and separated the arms from his body. I made so many of these cakes that the voiceover is so blah to me. <laughs> if you want to see more of my bake cakes, there's an entire playlist for you in the description box. I've got a lot and I've got more coming soon because I'm going to try to create a whole bunch of like Halloween monsters. After I finished carving my cake, I added on a crumb coat and then placed it into the fridge to chill for about two hours. I watched Oceans 8. I love all of the Oceans movie, 11, 12, 13? Or was it 10, 11, 12? It was Oceans 11 and then Oceans 12, 13. I love heist movies. I love the ensemble cast in Oceans 11, 12, 13. And then I love the new ensemble cast of women in Ocean's 8. Aquafina, I don't know if she's a good actress because she plays the same person in every movie I've seen her in so far, uh, but I love watching her on screen. Did you like the movie? Did you think it was okay? Were you bashing it in the comments online? Like all of those people who don't like women? <laughs> Let's create these cakes. I had to do something that I love to do, but very rarely ever get to do, and that's draw. And I created each of my characters just by looking at Google search images, and then I just cartoonified all of their different details. I actually had to redraw these twice because my friend who actually plays the game was like, I don't like your drawings, no one's gonna appreciate them, and I was like, you think your opinion matters to me? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, you're damn right it does. <laughs> so I just redid them again to make sure that they stood up to his standards. And what do you think? Good? It's good, huh? It's pretty good. Now for the raven cake, I covered his face with black fondant, cut away the excess, and then covered his body with some gray fondant. I'm just using a veining tool to separate his arms from his body and cut away the excess using a paring knife. Let's create all of the raven's features. I'm just using different colored fondant that I cut in the same size and shape as my drawing. And if you want to recreate this cake for a friend, you can find the drawing on my Facebook page and that's linked in the description box. Now all of these details I'm just attaching to the back of the cake using some magic sauce. 
And I actually screwed up a little bit because I forgot to cover his pants in purple fondant. So I had to take some details off, place them back on. And it was a pretty easy fix though. Now I added this thick layer of gray fondant to create his hood. And then I just used some sculpting tools to make it look like fabric. And then I added his beautiful collar detail. Is this what a masculine feather boa looks like? I don't know. Feather bows can be masculine. Now I added two white eyes and I wanted them to look like they were glowing. So I added some pink food coloring around the edges and then I just blended them with a little bit of magic sauce. And voila, the raven was done. Is, it, is that his name? Let me look it up to make sure. I'm gonna get crucified in the comments if I get his name wrong. Oh, it is raven. Oh, cool, good. Now for the cuddle team leader, I covered my entire cake with a large piece of pink fondant. And then using my veining tool, I just separated the head from the body and made sure that you could see like some defining lines to separate his arms. And then I started to add all of the cuddle team leader's details. It's a lot simpler than the Raven's details, but so much more rewarding, I think, because the design of the character is so crazy. Sure, I've never created a teddy bear looking thing that looks so cute and so unstable. And my favorite part of this bear is that his eyes are kind of cross-eyed. I don't know, that's really cute. <laughs> and voila, my two Fortnite cakes were complete. These are like great additions to all of the other bake cakes I've created. Now I'm curious, what other Fortnite skins should I create? Bombard me with your comments down below. And make sure you hit that notification button so that you can see all of the things I'm currently working on in the community tab. Oh, and I just posted about my slime monster cake. So if you wanna be included in that video, then give me a name, a favorite song, or a little bit of his story, all right? I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Bye. That was a juicy kiss. <laughs> Peace.